Okay, what we have here is we have a typical clock gauge. Uh, this clock gauge, again, is just for a visual reference on the quantity of fuel we have in the, uh, in the storage tank. And uh, sometimes these things can be uh, thrown off a little bit. So what we're going to go through is just a typical procedure on recalibrating the clock gauge. Uh, to recalibrate it, what we have to normally do is take a manual reading using the sounding tape like you saw in the procedure before and calibrate it to the, to the uh, quantity of fuel we have in the tank. To do this, we're going to take the clock gauge and spin this around. And as you see, we have a ring right here that we have to remove. To do this, you simply grab the screwdriver and pull up on the, on the ring and remove the ring. And we have a back plate. This is more like a cover plate, it comes out like this, and we'll remove that. And as you can see in here, we have, this is our adjusting screw right here, and these are our two lock nuts. These nuts will have to be loosened up. And we'll just put a wrench on that. While holding this, we will turn the lock nuts back. And what this does is it loosens up the adjust, adjusting screw. We will take a screwdriver and insert it in here and move this, okay? While holding the round dial. I'll show you what happens when we adjust this. By adjusting this, we actually can adjust the hand on the clock gauge. Again, the small hand is in feet and the large hand is in inches. So we're going to take this and set this to five foot nine and one eighth of an inch. And typically, it's all right if you have it within a half an inch. Now that we got the clock gauge uh, calibrated properly, I verified that our setting is again at five foot nine and one eighth of an inch. And when doing so, I went ahead and tightened down the the uh, lock nuts on the set screw. And at this time, we can go ahead and replace our our uh, locking ring and our back cover. Before we do this, we want to make sure we inspect the gasket as to uh, make sure we have a, have a proper seal. Replace the cover. Insert the snap ring and go ahead and push the snap ring into its seat. Make sure it's properly set. Turn the clock gauge back so that the operator can see it. We verified that the setting is at five foot nine and with one and plus or minus to the half inch.